Unless the dude's gonna turn up and give me the glider. Just for feeling kind. Oh, I've still got the sledgehammer out. Oh, no, not the claymore. Okay. Give me your head. Give me your head. Haha, <laughs> I've got your head. Oops. Yeet! My head! Okay, but seriously, is there a way to get down? Or do I just carry on going up? The next one is actually this way, isn't it? There's got to be a way to go around Mount Hillier. It's cold during the day. It's going to be even colder at night. Okay, no. No, no, no. I've got no stamina as well because I'm cold. I thought that Shrine stayed on the map. Oh, it does. I just got confused with the, the death. So what's going to be the easiest way to get over there then? Need something that's going to give me frost resistance. Just went up that way, didn't I? Let's try going this way. This seems like it's going to be even colder. I can get onto that ledge. He didn't grab onto the wall. Such a clumsy fucker. I've got to deal with these dickheads again. Yeet! Found a chest. Oh, better bow.
Okay, this time. On the wall. I don't think this is going to be a better option. Down, down. Oh, I'm not in the mood for you. You can fuck right off. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. I might go to... Seems all completely pointless to do. I might go to his house and see if I can cook something. So I've still got some peppers. I'm going to need something that resists cold. Why did you jump up that way? This one's a bit further down. Climb on the wall, oh, oh my god, oh my god. I think you're gonna give me a heart attack. Okay. Right, solid ground. Where's the tree that I chopped down? Oh, it's despawned, okay. Oh, I can't carry any more. Okay. No, no, no. Climb, climb. On. On. No worms. Tillion shrooms? Something that's going to give me some stamina, which is good. Peppers. He's asleep. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. 
And today I outdid myself. Truly. I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but also keeps me warm, even when traveling in the snowy mountains. Um, I no longer have that itchy warm doublet. Keep reading. Um, I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down the very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply, simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up to me. Sadly, this on this lonely plateau, I only have my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. So it's going to be meat. Has he found something? Also. I think this does make noise. Oh yeah, I'm way quieter. screaming outside. Oh, where's this damn boar hat? Snipe him. Be more of a vantage point, I guess. Oh. Why are there no boars around? I think I scared one off up here earlier. Does that mean that they can go up here? Is that a cave? There's no boars up here.
I would go and blow that up. But I'd end up scaring off anything that was around here. Fuck it, there's nothing around here anyway, so... Oh, I've got some amber. I suppose I could sell that at some point. Yeah, I'm not climbing that. Screw! There are no boars around here. Feeling that's the asshole. Snipe killed me last time. Eleven fifty in the morning. Zero balls. <gasps> Shut my mouth. I've only got three arrows. chance. Close enough. Yes! Fucking get in there. That took too long. What the? Um, uh, run away. I didn't mean to wake you up, I'm sorry. Kill me, I've only just got my meat. Oh, we can get the warm doublet. We can go and do the last fucking... Oh, God, hang on. I've got fire arrows. Thank God for that.
We need one pepper, one bass, one raw meat. I can cook it. My god. Hey, I made you food. Oh, do I need to be at his house for it? Okay. Good question. Where's his house? It was like here-ish, wasn't it? I don't care about hunting. I've done the hunting. I've cooked your food. Just very quickly. Stamp, please. Thank you. I don't want... Um, do you know what? It will probably be quicker in the long run. And we have to climb down the cliff, basically, is what I was trying to avoid. Oh. But it will be quicker than just walking around. In theory. Climb, climb down. Link. gonna fall off this time. I've learned my lesson. I still stand by the fact that this, this was quicker than walking across the map. Easily. Oh yes. Drop you down tree. Just one swing. One swing. Not a jump sp You really are a dickhead sometimes. Oh yes, made it. Hey, old man. You got here quick. You seem to be everywhere. Wait, is that? That looks just like my signature perfect dish. Spicy meat and seafood fry. But how did you? It took a while. Hyrule Bass. Everyone forgets about the bass.
Hmm. We can go up the mountain. Boy, oh boy. Can I take your shield? Oh, it's a pot lid. Uh, I don't really want a pot lid. It's like... I have nothing. Okay. Save climbing up again. I honestly shudder to think how long that took. <laughs> right, I'm going for a quick stand-up break, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Third shrine. Fourth shrine? Yeah, I don't care about saving at the moment. Hold on. We can get the fucking glider. It's taken three hours. Running really low on our um, on our armors, armors, armory, armory things, weapons. That's the word. Oh shit! I'm also, not being very quiet at all. Hello, chest. Yep, seems good. I gotta climb this. Uh, is that another bow? I don't need a Goku bow. Oh shit, not you. I'll take it. Bye. Where's the damn shrine at? <laughs> Too cold for this shit. Even if I am wearing a very warm doublet. Which, oddly enough, fits me. And not the old man. What is this place? Climb up this. Except I didn't have to climb up this, I wasn't looking at the map. It's gotta be up something up here though. Oh, it's the old man. Yeah, I know how to do that. 
Ooh, opal. I come up the wrong side of the mountain. Okay, back down we go. You know that village that I was going to investigate and uh, like after I'd done the, the thing? Yeah. Ah. Is there a little stone around anywhere? Let's complete that circle so I can get my first seed. And I need stamina. Oh, you can do one. Get out of here. But one of these might actually be better. Ow! Stop throwing rocks at me! Bye! Alright, let's get to this shrine. It's half past ten at night. All the bad things come out. Oh god, is there a campsite halfway up? There's a chest up there. Thank you. I was hoping to grab onto that, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, excuse me. Oh, the final shrine at long last. Can I would shrine? Dilling. Oh, we're going in. My honest trial.
Drip. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. So terrible at this. There we go. Told you. Thank you. Ow! Come here, you. I'll take your ancient bits. That's where I came in. Got to get the secret chest. Not very secret. Ooh, spear. All that effort hunting boar for five minutes in a shrine. Totally worth it. Got the four orbs. Man. Ah. <sighs> Yes. I got the orbs. Give me the glider. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh ho ho! Extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for t me to tell you everything. But first. Imagine an X on your map. With the four shrines at the end points, find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. It's the Temple of Time. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting, 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 waiting. I haven't got a cross, so I'm going to put a star. And... Is that quicker? No, that's not quicker, is it? That's quicker. He called me Link. I was wondering if the warm doublet might make me 
too warm. It's three o'clock in the morning. Probably gonna have to wait. That noise. I recognize that noise. I don't remember what it is though. It should be about five by the time I get there, right? Go over this bit. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Wrong room. Are we winning? Um, it took me an hour to find a pig. An hour. No boar around whatsoever. And I needed one for a recipe. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. Uh, I need a heart container first. Yes, please. Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Who's back? The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly. I'm up this. Oh shit. Grab on. Oh, Link. Idiot. Oh, no, no, this way, this way. Follow the vines. Maybe I should have gone for more stamina first. Time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. 
It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the Kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda and the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted, 
Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here is the paraglider. Just as I promised. I put the controller down and they just went to sleep. We've got the paraglider! Three hours. Took three hours to get the paraglider. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Destroy Ganon. Okay, easy peasy. Right, um... Okay, I just want to make sure that that is my one and only waypoint. I've got zero rupees. So... To Kakariko Village, then. Ooh, that's a ways away. Oh. Hi! Climbing cliffs is a challenge in a rainy day. I don't want to climb cliffs on a rainy day. I'll slip off. I'm sure there is a guy that you can encounter and he's got a face covering. Yeah. Worth it. Yes, it's the arm. <laughs> So, um, what's the score tonight? I'm going to give you a seed and you're going to dance for me. Shh! Alaka! S2! You can see me? I, uh, I can see you? Uh, it's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. PC just did something really weird then. I think they're still there on the other side of the rocks. Oh, I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. I mean, if 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 we win tonight, there is no way we we're, we're, we're winning against Italy. You stole my friend's miracle. Ow. Oops. Hmm.
think I need a different tactic. Or a tic tac. Hmm. <laughs> I could go in with a sledgehammer. Game over. Hey, mental. Um, I think the soldier's shield would be a better choice because that's 16. Whereas this is about to break. Um, and I've only got two arrows. Hmm. And there's no explodey barrels in there. Hmm. Can I have your club, please? Ow! And you guys are tough. Oh my god! Let's just very quickly eat. Ah. I'm very, very ill prepared for this. I need the giant stick off of him, yeah. Ow! Thing is, it's double handed, I can't. Right, one left. Two left! Now there's one left. Ow! Give me the stick! Oh yes! Got your weapon! What are you going to do now? Whew. I'll take the club, because clearly I'm going to... Can you stop whistling? Um... Oh, an arrow. Oh, apple! Get the maracas! <laughs> yes, do I got your maracas. Only took me one attempt. them to be Oh, I've missed Hestu. Shalaka. <laughs> okay. Still got to make it to the village. Okay. 
Won't come near the village. Hey, Tino Village. Hello. Be on your way, you suspicious man. Uh, I'm a traveller. Hi, I'm Link. You certainly appear to be a alien, like the rest of us. Aliens are generally good folk, so sorry for getting all worked up. You're free to go. We're just a waypoint on your winding road, huh? Ah, the life of a traveller. Well, you can get. Oh, okay, thanks, thanks. No, no, goodbye. I'm going up there. You need to stop with your beeping. I can see it. Now we've got a waypoint back here, which is good. Almost made it. Yeah, you have to light all of these beacons all the way up base village to the lab. I remember it took me forever. link um. I knew it was a way up but I forgot how high it was Can I get some um, apples please Can you pick things up instead of swinging at them, please? No soliciting! Not a solicitor. Mind the lanterns. Yes, I know. I'm going to have to light the lanterns soon. this one say enter at your own risk you don't scare me I'm link how many shrines have I done uh three the three that I was meant to at the start hurrah hello this is the Tano ancient tech lab do you have some business with the director? Uh, yes, I'm Link. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief. Hi. Hello! I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We've gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilizations here. As for the actual number of books, well, is that thing on your waist, is that a Sheik? That's no, there's no mistaking it. That's the real Sheikah slate, isn't it? Yes. 
I've actually never seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I'd be most appreciative. Stasis, ah. Magnesis, yes, yes. The remote bomb and Cryonis. And what else? Let's see. So that's it for runes, but... Hmm. Strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my managers? Man where are my managers? Where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simin. You are... Link, right? You know my name? Ah, Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we're told a young man sh holding a Sheikah Slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens from the slumber of restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Miss Director, this is the real Sheikah Slate. Director? Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our director. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Heteno Ancient Lab, Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. <laughs> Check it! Uh, I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura and all she's accomplished. I'm honoured to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see, the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to tell you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. Hey, hey! Are you surprised? The director of me, of the, of the, of me, of this laboratory is not Simin, it's me! Snappity snap! Anyway, Linky, do you remember the dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky? What does that look? You do still remember me, right? I... I know. Really? Well, I'm so shocked I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Restoration after after Calamity Gallon, Gallon? Gannon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the one who put you safely into the sl slumber of restoration, despite all that, you still don't remember me? I don't remember anything. As expected. After a hundred years in the slumber of restoration, the subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry. I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? No. Anywho, do you have any questions? Uh, are you a child? <laughs> oh, very rude. Or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways, it was a success. I documented the full affair in my diary upstairs. But the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after a hundred years. Here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment. This kid doesn't shut up. And to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you've got the courage to try. And to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, must restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what did you say to that? Uh, yep, yeah, yes, that'll be very nice. What do I have to do? You need me to run an errand. Yep. I have to light the torches. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slate for free, did you? Uh, I, I did. Hmm. Post slumber, <laughs> post slumber of restoration subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. Let me explain why what this errand entails. You know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory. Could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace in town? Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. 
This sweet little guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Ah, oh, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah oh, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I'm counting on you, f on you for that blue flame. 